Hey guys, it's Mei Mei, and check out this cute little bar box card we're going to make today using our Cricut Explore and an SVG file that I got from Crafts by Two, which is George and Ken. And the SVG file is something that they give to their Patreon subscribers, and I happen to be a Patreon of theirs. I give them a dollar a month, and so I get little files from them. And I love this little baby bed. Now, um, actually, there's several of us that are going to be making this, and I will leave links to those um, channels below so you guys can go see what they're doing with the baby bed. But as we get started in this video, you'll see what I have done to kind of make it my own. And this crib changes a lot because I do a lot of things and then change my mind. So before we get to this finished product, a lot of stuff changes. So hang on, see what you think about the video. Let me know what you think if you like the way it ended up or if you like the way I had it the first time. And I just want to say thanks to George and Ken for asking me to be a part of this little, it's not really a hop, it's more of a just everybody's doing the little crib card their own way and sharing it with everybody. So if you're interested in this file, you do have to be a Patreon of theirs, and I and he told me it was any number of pre, of pledge gets this, but that's you know if you want to do that, and that's where this comes from. All right, guys, enjoy the video. Hey guys, it's May May, and I am excited that I have been asked to participate in the creation of this crib card, which is an SVG file that was created by George and possibly Ken. I'm not sure which one created it, but they are the guys from Crafts by Two, and they've asked me to create a version of this crib card. And I actually have something in my head that's probably going to be really probably more simple than most people are doing, but um, I think this is a cool way to use this little crib. So. I have downloaded the file that Ken sent, uh, that George sent me, and I'm going to, um, I've uploaded it into my Cricut Design Space, and when he sent it to me, he gave me a list of instructions that come with the file for you to know exactly what to do. So what I thought I would do, this is probably the most important part of learning, is go through this set of instructions with you. So the first thing you do is number one, import into Design Space. Then number two, it says to resize as one piece to 12.7 by 8.2. And this is going to make a five by seven card. So what I'm going to do is just grab this whole file. Okay. And then I'm going to come right over here to edit. I'm going to unlock this little proportions lock because I want to be able to make them separate proportions. So we're going to look at the width is 12.7. And I'm just following instructions. It's real easy. I just printed the instructions out and brought them with me in here. So I could just sit here and follow. And then the height is 8.2 and hit enter. So now this is the size it needs to be for the 5.7 card. Easy enough. Now we need to ungroup this piece. So I'm going to go over here to layers and down here to ungroup. And so I'm ungrouping it. And he said when we do that this should be three pieces. So I'm going to move that back because I don't want to mess up yet. So now we've got three different pieces. So one, two, well it looks like four pieces because this is not attached. Okay so they are movable. Now it says ungroup each piece, which obviously has already happened, and you can change the cut lines to score lines. So you see these little lines right here? This little black line is a cut line as it sits, and we need to change it to a score line. So we're just going to head over here to our little, um, what is this, our menu, I would assume this is our menu, and we're going to find, actually here's how I like to do it, I think this is super easy. I know I want to change every one of these lines to score lines. Do you see that? So I'm just going to click on that and tell it to score. So now I have the score at the line. And if I do that for every one, I know I'm getting the job done. Instead of trying to go in there and pick out every single line, this makes this so much easier. Just find those lines and make them score lines. So here's one. And score line. Okay, now I did that to show you how to do it. You see they turned red because now they're just score lines. I don't have the score tool for my machine yet. I just keep forgetting to pick one up. So I'll score them by hand, but for now, um, that's how you'll do that. And it won't affect anything. I'll just have to skip a step when I get ready to cut. All right, so then the next step is attach those lines. Now let me show you. These lines are not attached to the piece when you get the file, okay? So you want to make sure you attach it, otherwise it won't score. They'll, they'll just be lines that nothing happens with or they'll score on a separate piece of paper. Let's just do this. Let's just grab it like this and see if we get everything. And now come over here and click Attach. And now this should be attached. Let's just move it. Yep, it's attached. I'm just going to say Undo and get it back in place. Alright, so I'm going to do the same thing here. You guys are learning this in real time with me because I've never messed with this file before. So Attach. And there we go. 
I've opened it and I've played around like looking at it, see how it works. But I've never done these kind of things before. All right, now the other thing, this one I don't want to attach. I want that to be a separate piece. So I'm going to move that out of the way before I attach these pieces because that's like another layer. So now I'm just going to grab this top crib or the top portion of the crib and attach those score lines. So now that should be one piece. Nope, I just attached them to each other. So let me undo my move and do it again. Just like, oh, I didn't get the crib. Now I got it. I didn't get the crib, the crib, I don't think, the first time. All right, so are we attached? Yes. Okay, so all these pieces are ready to cut and score. Next, we need to cut the one of the front and back, so the two wider pieces, and then it says cut two of the narrower pieces that will go inside the box. That's these guys. So this is the front of the crib, okay? This is the back, and then this guy is what makes it a box card. So when we put it together, this will make more sense. And then this is just a layer for you to have um, an extra piece in the back for some color or whatever you want to do. You could write on this if you wanted to. It'd be kind of blocked, but you might want to write at the top. Let's do that. Let's just see if we can do that. Okay. So let's put in some text and let's put in congrats, no, let's do welcome little one. Okay, so I want to edit this little um, font and change it to a writing font. So I'm going to click edit. Then I'm going to go up here to where it says all fonts and let do that drop down and pick one that has a writing style and then do this drop down so I can pick the font that I want. I love that. How will that look? Mm, looks a little messy. Let's see. How about baby steps? Let's use that since it's called baby steps. Now I'm just going to put it up here and size it to fit inside this little guy. Is that going to fit? Just barely. I'm going to make it a little bit smaller. I may change that font because I don't think I can read that one very well. No, that looks good. I think it does. Looks good to me. Okay, so that's where that'll go. So now what I need to do to make sure that goes there is grab both of these pieces and attach that together. Because if I don't, then the writing won't know where to go. It'll just be um, freestanding. But we actually want it to go right there. So now the fun part, we get to write with a marker and cut this guy out. So let me load up my map and we'll do that. Now before we get ready to cut, I have to do one thing. In my directions, it tells me that I need to cut, I'm looking at my, them one more time, I need to cut one of the front and the back. So one of this, okay, one of this, and then I need to cut two of this. Does that make sense? So I'm going to take this one, I'm going to copy it and paste it. So now I have two of these. Well, I said it to paste. There it is. So now I have two of those that'll cut because that'll go inside, okay? And I only need one of everything else because everything else just works that way. You just want two of these guys. Now I'm going to go to cut. Okay, it's asking me to load the stylus, which I don't have, so I'm just going to say go. I'm just going to let it pretend like it's scoring <laughs> and skip it. Now, I don't, you don't have to do that. If you don't have the score tool, just don't attach those score lines. Just delete them, and you don't have to do it. But I wanted to show you how to attach them, so it's no big deal. It's just going to move for a second, and then we'll move on to the cut portion. This piece is going to cut and write, and so I'm holding my camera, so I'm sorry if this is shaky, but I wanted to show you how you do this. This is my little silver marker that came with my Cricut, so I'm going to use it. And drop the lid in that little storage box and then I'm going to place this into this hole. Now I will have to let go for a second and cut away but I have to push this into place and I need to support the bottom here so that it doesn't break off that carriage holder. So I will support it here and then press the top. So hold just a second. Now when you do that it clicks into place but you do want to support that little carriage at the bottom and then you just close the lock into place and it is ready to print. So now I'm going to tell it to go. Isn't that awesome how it just writes for you? Oh, makes your job easy, doesn't it? Now 
and once it finishes writing, it will automatically go and cut the piece we need to be our backer piece, which is also going to be white. Alright, all the other pieces are cut. Let's put this guy together. So here's all our pieces. Here's the one we wrote on. This is the back of the crib. This is the front of the crib. And then these are the pieces for the, um, why do I have three? I'm only supposed to have two. <laughs> Did I cut an extra one? I don't know. We'll see when we get going. Okay. Now, I had these stickers that I got from the Dollar Tree a long time ago. And I was actually going to use this in a baby album. And I um, didn't end up using this pack. So I thought it'd be really cute on this card. Now, you don't have to use stickers. You can certainly cut things out from your Cricut. But I have a friend who does this, and I love it. She makes cards, and her card base is pretty simple, but she buys these sticker packs and makes them look like she has a Cricut, even though she doesn't, or like she has a cutting machine. And I think it's a great idea. So I'm going to use these today to show you how we can turn this into super fun. And you won't spend, you know, any time cutting out these little pieces. All you have to do is cut out your crib. All right, so there's those guys. Get them open. Now we need to do some scoring, remember, because I don't have the scoring tool. But if you have the scoring tool, it will do it for you. So my camera blinked on me, but this is what I did. I just scored these two edges using the scoreboard, and I just lined this top portion of this crib up with one of the score lines and made sure this was straight by pushing it to the top. See that? So I just lined that edge up and scored all the way down on both sides, and that gives you this turn to make the sides of your crib for your box card, okay? So I'll put that over there. It's already standing up. How cute is that? Now, this guy gets scored as well, and because I don't have um, any lines on there to show me, I'm going to use this. Here's how I'm going to cheat the system a little bit. <laughs> well, let me show you. I'm going to lay this guy on here and center it because I can see on either side how this goes, okay? So now I'm just gonna use this as my guide to score this, okay? And for this side. So that way I know I got these scored so that it will glue together. That's just a little cheap method because I didn't have, I've gotta get that score tool, I really do want it. I actually have looked for it and haven't had any luck finding it. I'm gonna have to order it online, it looks like. All right, so then this will glue to that. So we got that piece scored and ready to go. These guys go inside of here. Okay, and they are what's going to hold our little elements that go in. They become like the um, supports for the little pieces um, that we're going to stick inside the crib. But here's the thing: I don't want them to be this tall because I'm going to put some pretty. I want to put this teddy bear in there, and he's pretty tall. So I'm going to cut this guy down. I'm just going to use my paper trimmer, and I'm going to cut him down to about what is it now? This is three. I'm going to cut it down to an inch and a half. That'll be about half. That way I still have enough support, but you won't see so much of it because I want to see more of the bear sticking up. And then I'll decide about this one because I may do something in a level, so I'll leave that one to the side for now. And then I'm going to do the same thing for scoring since I don't have the um, score marks. I'm going to use this as my cheat for my scoring. So there and there. I'm really having to cheat it. That scoring tool is very, very important. I just don't have it. Okay, so now this one is scored. We can fold it. Okay, now, if I tell you I've never made a box card before, will you believe me? I know you will, because <laughs> I've never done this before. So I'm going to start to glue these pieces. Actually, I wonder if I should put these in first and work my way out. I feel like I should. I feel like I should put this piece in. That's what we're going to do, because I think I need to work my way forward. So... I'm going to put these aside for one second because since I'm going to work my way out, I'm going to put this guy in first. And I want to do something to this before it goes in. I want to cuddle bow it. So I got my cuddle bow and my Swiss dot folder. I love this for baby stuff. And let me get out my, um, my, what are these called? My plates. I can't remember the name of them. Now here's what I'm going to do. I don't want to, I don't want to emboss above those letters or on top of those letters. So I'm going to let that stick out of the card so that it doesn't get embossed, but I want the rest of the card to get embossed. That actually works pretty good just to put it in and push down. So the dots will stop down here, and that's what I'm looking for. So now I'm going to run that through with an A, B, and B plate and emboss it. 
So now what we'll have is this little guy embossed. Isn't that cute with the little polka dots? I think that looks cute for a baby. All right. So I'm going to work my way forward. And this is the little matte piece for back here. But I want it to have some dimension. So I'm going to put this up on some foam tape. And I'm going to use two layers of foam tape because I want it to be a little tall. And what that means when you do two layers of foam tape is you're going to just put one down and then peel that little backer piece off and cut another piece to put right on top of it. Because this 3M tape that I use is not very thick and this will help it to be thicker and give me a little more dimension back there. So now we're ready to peel these little backers off and put this guy in place. This crib is a super cute idea for a baby card. Matter of fact, I have someone I can send this one to right now, so that's awesome. Okay, so I'm going to center this with a little bit of space all the way around. And so see how that'll lift up? And it'll have that dimension in the back? I like that a lot. Cute, cute, cute. Okay, now, this piece we cut short, I'm going to put it on this first rail here to put that bear in. So, let's just glue. Do I want to put the bear on first? Hmm, y'all are learning with me. Let's see if we need to do that. I see we have one issue because my foam tape is longer, and if you close this down, it's going to stick. So I'm going to have to put something on top of that foam tape. But let's put this little guy on and see how he should look and what I need to cover up. So see, I want him in the crib. I think he'll be cute in there. Um, yep, I like him right there. You know what I'm going to do? I'm just going to use that scrap piece that I cut I didn't need and cover this up. Cover this foam in the back. I need to trim that just a little bit. So that way he won't be sticky when we shut the card down. And see, now he'll go in here, but I want him to be in the front. So it looks like I may have to put a layer behind him if I want something else in there. Hmm. I'm thinking, I'm thinking. What do I want to put in there? I think I may just do one layer and add this word baby <laughs> right here like it's a little banner. Oh, that's cute, y'all. That is cute, cute, and it fits perfect. And then to have him down here, yep, that's what we're going to do. All right, let me glue this guy in. I may not use both of those little pieces inside, just one. You can do what you want. It's your card. I'm thinking we might just do that. And I did this one in white because I wasn't sure. You know, you never know if you're going to give to a boy or a girl, and sometimes you don't know for a long time. So this way, it goes for either or. Then I'm just gluing that strip onto the actual rail. Get that one lined up. And now I'm going to press it so I can shut that down good. Make sure it's glued where it needs to go. And press this side. So now we've got a little teddy bear in there. And let's put on the front of the crib. And then I may put something to the front. I love that little teddy bear in that crib. That is cute. Okay. So I'm just going to run my glue down one side, and then I'll do the other side in a second. That way I won't take a chance of it drying on me. And this one's easy because it just lines up right with the other one. Now I want to put something out here, and I really like this little rattle. So I think I'm going to put this rattle out this way. Do I want to put it in there? I like it right there. So let's put the rattle here. I think I've changed my mind about the bear. I think I want to bring him out. I'm going to take him off of here. Because I think I have an idea for something else in there. See, this is you guys learning in the same, in real time with me. <laughs> and now I'm going to take him and put him on the front of the card. Like he's sitting on the floor in front of the crib. That's better, huh? I heard y'all yelling at me. I heard you telling me. 
Now I am going to have to go behind there and put some put this strip behind or put a strip behind there because it's the adhesives coming through those little um, slots. But that's no big deal. I just cut strips to do that. Now I'm going to shut it to see what we're looking like. Okay. All right. We're going to do some changing. I'm going to take this piece out that I put in first. That's the crib, and I'm going to add a different piece. Okay, now we'll glue this guy into place. And I'm going to have to go ahead and put the glue on both sides because I'm going to slide it in there. Here's another change. I'm going to take this baby off. And remember the piece I cut in half? I'm going to use the other half for the back, and I think I'm going to put baby on that, so it'll be even more dimension. I think that'll be cute. So I'm going to put this one on first, and I'm going to do one side at a time. It's going to be a little fiddly, but trying to do two sides at one time is difficult. Because I don't want the glue to dry on me while I'm working on it. And it works a lot better if you kind of turn it to the side and just stick your finger up in there and mess with it. Probably would have worked even better if I'd have known what I was doing and done this, you know, like I was supposed to. So now I'm just going to take my tip and put glue on that. And just stick that in there. There we go. So now we have the two layers inside, and I'm going to take this word, and I think I'm going to take the foam off of it because it's not going to be in the right spot if I don't. So I'm going to take this foam adhesive off of the back of this and just glue it straight on. Okay, so I took the foam adhesive off and now I'm just going to glue it onto that little spot. Just where it won't show, uh, where it won't cover up our wording. So I'm going to put this one on the first one here. So it's kind of toward the front and it says baby because I have these taller things to put behind it. And this will be cute right here. So just glue this in place. And we can still see Welcome Little One back there. This is fun playing with it. Oh yeah, that's cute. Okay, and now I have the star and the moon and I want them to stick up from the back back here. And just kind of peek over. I'm trying to think where I want it to peek. So I had the moon and the star that I was going to add, but my issue is to get them where you can see them, they are they will be too high for the card to close. So I'm not going to add these guys. I think they're cute, but I can use them for a different card. But I think I'm going to stop at that. I think that is super cute. I love this little guy. And you can fold it down and put it in your card, in your envelope. See that? Isn't that cute as it can be? And it's, it's a five by seven envelope. That's how they designed it. And so whenever the person gets it, they can sit it in their room or whatever. I think that's really cute. I love it. And I would put my sentiment on the back. That way, whenever it's up, it doesn't show, you know. And like, I didn't put anything on that second one, but it's just a good support. And you probably have something you'd want to put on the second one, even though I didn't. But there you go. That's my crib card made using a file from um, Crafts by Two, George and Ken. How cute. Hey, thanks guys for asking me to be a part of this. And I hope you enjoyed watching me kind of work through this one. I think it was fun. And I will see you guys on Wednesday for more crafty fun. Talk to you soon. Bye-bye.